What's up guys, it's your boy John. Thanks so much for tuning into this channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how I made about $10,000 in a little less than a month using this strategy. Let's get it. So the strategy that we're gonna be talking about today is not anything new. In fact, many traders already use this strategy to make money on the stocks that they already own. And that is called the wheel strategy. The wheel strategy is a great way to make money on the side on top of the money that you're already growing by owning the stock. Now we'll get into why it's called the wheel strategy a little bit later in the video, but let's just dive into what it is. The wheel strategy in its simplest terms is just leveraging money or leveraging stocks that you own and receiving a premium for it. Premium meaning cash money. The way I like to see it is that I'm placing a bet on a stock that it will or will not reach a certain price by a certain date. Now I know that's a lot to unpack from all that information, but let's just dive into an example and see it. So to be able to use this strategy, you will need to have a brokerage account that offers options trading. In this example, we'll be using Robinhood. Now Robinhood doesn't initially offer options trading. You do need to enable it in the settings. Once that setting is enabled, you'll be able to trade options on Robinhood. So the first thing is you need to own 100 shares of the underlying stock, or you need to have the cash to own the underlying stock at that strike price. So for example, if you wanna do the wheel strategy on a stock that's $10 and you wanna just own those 100 shares immediately, you will need to buy 100 shares, which will cost you $1,000. So that's what's really great about this strategy is that you're able to use stocks that are worth a dollar or $1,000 and you'll still be able to trade those options the same way. The premiums are just gonna be a little different. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the Robinhood app. Now, why am I showing GameStop? Well, this is actually a stock that I played last month that helped me get to that $10,000. So we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and click trade, trade options. Now again, if you don't see that, you have to enable that option in the settings if you don't see it. But if you do, go ahead and click that. So once we click trade options, we're gonna go ahead and see discover and a bunch of dates. Now remember what I was talking about, those certain dates? Well, these are these dates. Now GameStop does weekly options that expire every single week. So you can go ahead and select a month out, 45 days out, a week out. It really depends on your trading style and what you like to do. I personally like to do weekly options. It gives me a little more flexibility. Let's take a look at the share price right now. It's right at $190 even, which means if you were to buy 100 shares right now, it would cost you $19,000. Let's say you did that. Let's say you own 100 shares at $19,000. And today is Tuesday, May 25th. Now, I personally like to start the wheel strategy on Mondays. Keep in mind really quick, make sure you're on sell and not buy. Do not buy calls, you sell calls. Because you own 100 shares, you're gonna sell covered calls. The reason it's called covered calls is because you own 100 shares and you can use those to leverage the option. The share price is currently $190, which means all of these options above the share price are out of the money options. So like we said, the share price is $19,000, you own 100 shares, it's gonna cost you $19,000. Now, let's just select one of these as an example. We don't have to get into the logistics yet of which ones to pick, but let's just select the $200 call. Now, remember what we said, we own 100 shares, and if you see right under sell GME, it says times 100 shares. So that means you're gonna type in one because you own 100 shares. So that one actually represents 100 shares that you own. Now, if you take a look at the minimum credit, it says $538. I personally can't submit it right now because I have already submitted my call options with the wheel strategy. Now, the sell GME $200 call May 28th might seem a little confusing, but it's very easy to understand. All it is saying is if GameStop reaches $200 by May 28th, this Friday, you are giving the brokerage the right to sell your 100 shares. Let's break that down with a little math. So let's say it does reach $200 on May 28th. What is gonna happen? So at closing, the brokerage is gonna see that it did reach $200 and they're gonna go ahead and sell your 100 shares. So you will no longer own those 100 shares. So what's gonna happen? You're gonna sell your 100 shares at $200, so they're gonna give you $20,000. Keep in mind, you only spent $19,000 at $190, so you actually realized a profit of $1,000 Plus, you're gonna keep the $535 you earned from selling that covered call option. So in total, you made a profit of $1,535 by doing this option. But now you may be asking, but John, what if it doesn't reach that price by this Friday? What happens then? So if it doesn't reach $200 by this Friday, your option will expire worthless. So that means the shares that you were holding up for collateral will be released back to you. You still own those shares at $190 a share and you still get to keep the $535 premium. So you just made $535 in a week just by having your shares leveraged. 
Now that we've seen both outcomes from trading and cover call strategy, now we can start talking about the wheel part of the wheel strategy. So those options expired at closing on Friday. Obviously the markets are closed over the weekend. So come Monday, you now have two options. If your shares did end up being sold from the covered call, you can buy those shares back at the current price and sell another covered call, or you can sell a cash secured put. Now cash secured put is the opposite side of a covered call. You are leveraging cash by betting that the stock is going to fall down to a certain price. If it does fall down to that certain price, the cash that you leverage will be used to purchase those shares. If I were to sell a cash secured put for $190 for GameStop and GameStop was trading at $200, that is us saying, hey, if the stock drops to $190 or less by this Friday, I am giving you the right to use my money that you're leveraging to buy 100 shares at that strike price. And you get a premium for that. And that's where the wheel comes in. If it gets executed, you're gonna go ahead and sell cash secure put. If that gets executed, you're gonna sell covered call on the shares that were exercised and so on and so on. Now with this cash secured put, I would receive $478. So what this is telling me right now at the current state of the market with GameStop is each week, if I leverage $19,000, I'm gonna get an average of about $500 a week, which will bring in about $2,000 a month just from leveraging your money and playing the wheel. Now really quick, let's just hit the other side of that coin. If your covered call was not exercised and you did not have to sell your shares and you still own those shares, you're just gonna go ahead and sell a covered call again. And again, each week is gonna go by and you'll collect that premium and that premium if it turns into a put and your, your shares are sold, then you're just gonna sell a cash secured put. So that is essentially the wheel strategy and playing it can really bring a lot of income. I made $10,000 last month playing the wheel. Just for some clarification, I'll post some screenshots. I own 200 shares of GameStop at the time of recording. So the way I was doing it, I was selling one cash secured put with the money and I was doing one covered call. The covered call has never been sold and the cash secured put was exercised because the stock did fall down to that strike price. So now I own 200 shares. Now on average, the example that I showed you brought in about $500, whether it was a cash secured put or a covered call. On average, that's bringing you $2,000 a month, correct? Now, if we bring that back to my scenario, I had 200 shares or the leverage to own 200 shares and was selling cash secured puts and covered calls last month. So that would on average with the current state of GameStop stock, that would be bringing me in $4,000 a month. However, last month with GameStop, the volatility was a lot higher than it is this month. With higher volatility comes higher premiums. So volatility plays a huge role in how much premium you're gonna get for that stock. Now last month with GameStop, you've seen it all over the news with talks of a short squeeze. The volatility of the stock was very high. And that is where we talk about high IV stocks. Now IV stands for implied volatility. High IV stocks just means that these are stocks that have high implied volatility. Playing with high IV stocks is a double-edged sword because you will be able to collect a lot more premium with smaller amounts of capital, but you run the risk of getting a covered call or a cash secured put and losing money on each side. See, that's the thing with selling covered calls and cash secured puts, you limit the amount of profits that you can make. GameStop last month had a really high IV, which I was able to collect $2,000 to $2,500 a week just selling cash secured puts or covered calls each week. And I was able to make about $10,000 using that method. Now GameStop has somewhat consolidated and stabilized. It's not moving as much as it was. There still is some volatility because of the short squeeze that people suspect is coming. So the premiums are still good just not as good as they were last month because the implied volatility has gone down. So a couple things to keep in mind with this strategy. It's a great way to make some extra income on the stocks that you already have. And there are some downsides to this strategy. Number one is that you limit your profits. So let's take it back to that covered call that we were talking about with GameStop. Now you have 100 shares at $190. You bought a covered call for $200 that expires at the end of the week for $200. And you collected about $500 in premium. You are limiting your profits to $1,535. If something crazy happens, like GameStop with the short squeeze, and the stock rises and shoots up to $300 by that Friday, you have limited your profits to $1,500. Now, if you would have not done the covered call and it shot up to $300, you would have been up $11,000. Your, your $19,000 investment would be worth $30,000. But since you collected $500 by selling that covered call, you are now limiting your profit to that $1,500 
because your shares will be sold, but they will be sold at the strike price of $200 because that's what you put the covered call as. So please keep that in mind while you are playing this strategy because you can be limiting your profits. You're not necessarily losing money, but you are losing potential profits. Now there also is the other side of that coin with cash secured puts. If you were to sell a cash secured put, Let's say the stock is $200 and you sold a cash secured put for $19,000 at a strike price of $190. So, and let's say the stock drops down to $170 by Friday. Now on Friday, when the put option expires, your option is going to be exercised at the strike price of $190. So you will own 100 shares at $190 each totaling $19,000, even though the stock dropped down to $170, you're gonna own 100 shares at $190 each, totaling $19,000, but the stock at the current state is worth $170, which means your investment is now worth $17,000, which means you have an unrealized loss of $2,000. Now, even with that loss, you can still sell covered calls, you just probably won't be able to collect as much premium because now there's a gap. So those are two very important things to keep in mind when playing the wheel strategy. It obviously does have some risk like any investment does, but playing it right and playing it smart will bring you additional income. So there it is guys, just a brief explanation of the wheel strategy and how it made me $10,000 last month. This is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. I hope you learned something today that you can take in your investing journey. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. I'm happy to answer any of them. If you guys do like this video, there are a lot more intricacies that go inside the wheel strategy. Please comment if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a part two of this video. If you haven't already, I do appreciate if you hit a like. And obviously, if you like this content, please make sure to hit subscribe for more videos. I'll catch you guys next time. It's your boy, John.